I'm working on a project which is multidisciplinary and there are multiple facets which where I can lead my project to and one of them was a molecular dynamic simulation. So once I got my structure of the protein I was working on, the next logical step was to do some simulations on it. So I started to look for collaborators and U21 gave me the opportunity to apply for the funding and visit the host lab for a month, which I think is a decent amount of time for a project. Um, I started to uh, communicate with multiple people across different universities and Professor Papoyne, who is at Maryland, uh, was very happy to host me because the project what I'm doing is very complementary to the research what they are doing. Hence, I applied for the scholarship and I got it. So uh, I'm doing a project wherein uh, it's basically on structural biology. And uh, in, in structural biology, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a structure of a protein. And once I get a structure of a protein, the next logical step is to do some dynamic studies, as in how it behaves in solution. So for that, uh, simulations is a very good platform wherein you essentially take your structures and simulate it for a certain amount of time and you see if it unfolds or it remains intact. So for that, uh, I approached uh, Professor Garrigan uh, Papoyne, who he's in Maryland, and he was happy to host me because his workings is also very similar to uh, what we are doing. So they do the computational side and we are doing the experimental side. So it's a very good fit. We complement each other. And they're also doing work on proteins and DNA. So he was very happy to host me. And uh, this, is, this is the proposal which I put forward for the uh, application. So uh, I'm expecting uh, obviously great science from the lab and uh, the openness to new work culture and work ethics, especially when you're moving to a different lab, they have different way of doing things. So possibly um, learning that and so also I'm uh, an outreach ambassador for the University of Birmingham. So I am expecting to do the same for my university when I'm there and promoting the university and uh, promoting the U21 because uh, students from the University of Maryland can also visit the University of Birmingham so I can uh, rather explain what they can do here in terms of research and otherwise. And also I'm expecting sunny days. So uh, what I would say to anyone who's applying for the scholarship would be, so do your research, uh, especially in your first and second year. Once you have the groundwork laid out as in what you want to do with your research, then you um, hunt for people basically and make up a decent proposal so that, you know, they're also happy to host you and try to make it as mutual as possible, as complimentary as possible, because uh, both parties should benefit, that should be the idea. And second thing, um, when you're writing your application, make sure it's accessible to a wider audience because it's not just your school which is going to read the application, there are other schools which also read the application. So uh, write it as if you're writing to someone who is non-expert but has infinite uh, knowledge to understand. The third thing I would say is Definitely apply because it'll give you a reason to experience another work culture and it'll obviously good look on your CV because you can say, okay, I have a, co I have a collaborator in this lab and you can also establish yourself as an independent research quite early in your career.